this is Beth from Beth's Cape and Kitchen and today we're going to do a, a taste test between two kinds of soda that's sweetened without sugar. Um, they both have stevia and this one has erythritol. Um, the, this one is called Zevia and it has stevia but it does not have erythritol. So we have two different flavors. This is Virgil's Zero Sugar Vanilla Cream Soda. And this is Zevia Cream Soda. So we're each going to sample. Okay. And that's the Virgil's, right? The Virgil's goes in the cup with the... Yeah. Okay. I'm a little put, confused. Yeah, this Virgil's will go in this cup, and then okay. the, and then the the Zevia will go in this cup. So okay, the okay. Virgil's has some color to it, and yeah, Virgil's is like that cream soda color, and uh, Zevia is a clear. Okay, well, just the color alone is gonna make it look better, right? Yeah. Okay, let's okay. try the Virgil's. That is really good. That is really good. We need something to clear our palate. We should have water to drink in between. Now, the Zevia we've been drinking for a couple of years. Yeah. And it's, we thought it was good. It has a, a little bitter aftertaste that the Virgil's the doesn't Virgil's, have. The Virgil's is leaps and bounds better. It really is. Without tasting right beside each other, we couldn't tell, but it really yeah. is better. It's got a richer vanilla flavor. And no bitter aftertaste. It's also cold. Yes, the Virgil's cost more. It's like um, $5.99 for a pack of six in our food line, and the Zevia's $4.99 for a pack of six. But right now, Virgil's was on sale for $3.99 for a pack of six, and that's when I scarfed mine up. All right, now we're going to try the root beer. So we'll take um, the Zevia goes in the tall cup. Yeah, just a little bit. Notice how it's clear. It is clear. And I already see on the top of the root beer, it is colored. So I don't know, if I, is that probably just added color? So maybe that's not a good thing for the purist. So the yeah. um, in the short snowflake cup, we're putting the Virgil's. I don't like how it's packaged though. It, I think it looks more like a beer can, and I don't like that. I want my soda to look like soda cans. Yeah. But I can read. Yeah, I can't read. This is too little. This even has added color. <laughs> oh. Um, I would have to get the glasses for that, I think. It does have erythritol. Caramel color. Mm -hmm. Caramel color. So it does have. This is the root beer, Virgil's mm -hmm. Zero Sugar. Mmm. That's good. good, and it's erythritol, which is a natural sweetener. It's not like Splenda or something like that. It is approved by um, <clears throat> the sisters on Trim Healthy Mama. And the Zevia is also with oh, stevia. stevia, which is a natural sweetener. Yeah. So I'm going to try the Zevia. To me, that root beer Zevia... It's better than the cream soda. It doesn't have quite a, like no. a little aftertaste. Yeah, it's a little better. But it's still, I like the I, vanilla. The still, I think flavor. Virgil's has some beat. Let me try one more time. I think Virgil's has some beat. It could be the color messing with my mind. Could be that's cold. I, I don't know. I think that the no. Virgil's has some beat. I think the Virgil's is better. But if I had to put these two beside each other, the Zevia, I definitely prefer root beer. So does Abby. You prefer the this because you like that vanilla I prefer flavor. the cream soda, yes. But it does have like a little aftertaste. I'm not tasting in the root beer. All right. So we've determined that we like the Virgil's best. The Virgil's best. best. This is our little personal commercial. We are not being paid by Virgil's. No. Or Zevia. Zevia is really great too. If you find it on sale. If you want to get that box.